Hello everyone and today I am going to teach you how to rearrange or get the position of your desktop icons and set the position of your desktop icon with just C++ and C if you want to use it. So over here I only have two icons so pretty quickly let me create some others by just creating new text files so, and if you have like a lots of icon you can use this to rearrange them and all and create create beautiful patterns with it and this will work best if you have auto arrange and align to grid turned off so now you can just put them anywhere you want they don't follow the grid and um, yeah you should have small icons that will look a bit better but if you have medium it's okay but it takes up a lot of space and that will reduce the resolution so you can create a lot of things with this including like profiles which you can use for saving icons and uh, other stuff so you can use this to make that as well if you just upload it on the youtube what you made with this technique that i teach you and make it unlisted or something like that and share the link in the comment section and if i get enough comments that share the link to the video i will uh, make it into another video reviewing your code and um, the thing what it does so one more thing before we start is that um, this icon right here is the zeroth icon this is second and um, if any icon is here that will be the third but if any icon goes over here that will be four or the next one which is after this like zero one two three and then this this will be four and then go down again up nothing no up, nothing and then this will be fifth if i'm correct in counting and this will be six so it starts from zero now if you rearrange the icon like this and it like goes above this things or this comes after it the order will be like zero one until you refresh it then it will be zero one two and third so keep that in mind while you get the index so now let's hop into our code first thing you want to create is object of hwind so hwnd and you can name it anything you want i will name hd and then create a handle so handle and you can name it anything but this will be the handle of the explorer so i will name it he and um, then a uh, d word so this will be the process id will name it pi so d word pi and um, this is necessary for getting the position of the icons so for now we won't need this cause we will first be setting the position now you can set hd equal to find window a and pass in class name as prog man so that is the first layer of the desktop and then null and we'll get the second layer desktop is in layers if you don't know there are three layers of the desktop so yeah just type find window ex and then pass in hd then z then the class name as shell dill underscore def with a capital D and view and then pass in null and then you can just copy this thing right there and like give it a new line and just replace the class name with sys list view 32 after that we'll get the process ID and the handle of the explorer so type get window thread process ID so pretty quickly type that then and give it the parameter of hd and press and sign and then type pi which is our d word so now pi will be our process id so now type he and set it equal to open process and then we will pass in some parameter so type process underscore wm underscore operation and then just copy this thing and paste it and after type then again paste the same thing and type read now press comma and type false then comma and our process id which is pr now that thing is done so we'll move on type point in capital and then give it a point assign and type whatever you want to type because this will be just the name and i'm gonna type uh, pc and set it equal to point and type virtual lo ex now give it our he then 
null and then size of point and then type mem underscore commit comma page underscore read write so after that we will write some memory so type write process memory and pass in our handle as he then base address as pc then type and pc and then size will be size of point and then just pass in null and after that type virtual free ex and give it our handle he and then pc and zero and then mem release so after that you if you want you can just type get ch or something and i haven't included the bonio dot so i'm not gonna type that so in between this you can get and set the position of icons so um first we will set the icon position so we'll do for and i equals zero and then i is smaller than 100 and then i plus plus so we'll set i as uh, x and y of the icon's position so this method will change the position of the icon so type list view underscore set item position and uh, over here you want to give our um, hd and then the index so index will be the count so this will be at zero index and this will be one and so on so we'll just use that as zero so we'll move this pc icon so after that you can give in your x and y value so i'm gonna use i in both of them and this will be super fast we won't be able to see the transition of the icon going from here to somewhere over here so let's sleep for a moment so let's use 10 and uh, this will sleep for 10 milliseconds in between so now let's compile this and um, i suppose this is v over here so type v it stands for virtual memory so now we are ready for compilation and also over here we had windows.h included and um, comctrl.h was included and our stream was also included and i was also using namespace std and uh, this was our int main function so i forgot to tell that at start so now i'm telling that make sure you include all those other files so compile and now we can run this so fast minimize and you can see the icon move a bit so i think that was not captured let's rerun this so this time i will just give in thousand as the value now compile and run minimize and you can see that the icon is freaking moving on the screen i'm not doing anything you can see it's literally moving and yeah it's gonna stop there and if we refresh this you can see that i refreshed it last time i didn't and we rerun this i'm gonna press the run button you can see the recycle bin is moving this time not this icon so keep that in mind if you refresh it the the counter is gonna reset and the index will be changed so i'm gonna refresh that and it removed the overlap i'm gonna move that to the side and close this and i will get the position so over here just comment this thing yeah now it's commented and now we can type our get command so get command is a bit different for that you have to make a new point variable so make a point and name it anything you want this will be the position of the icon so yeah now you can do list view underscore get item position and pass in over hd then the index of the icon so we'll use zero and then our pc variable so this command will cause the explorer to save the icon position in this variable or in this pointer because this is a pointer and we'll read that pointer by using read process memory and m should be capital over here and our handle will be a t then base address will be p c and then buffer will be our point name which is pt so this will have the location and just put an and symbol before it then pass in the size of point then just give it a null after that you can print the position so let's say 
x colon and then pt dot x and then space and then y and then colon and then space and pt dot y and end line so this will print our position then we can run this and you can see it entered the position now this is like the y over here and this is x22 so i guess it's over here yeah and uh, it will be yeah yes now we can just close this and um, one more thing i wanted to show you before ending this video is how do you get the count of how many icons are there so just type int and type count and then if you want you can just do split declaration then cunt equals send message hd which is our hwind variable and um, then we'll pass in the message which is lvm underscore get item counts and then after that we'll pass in zero zero so count will be our item count now we can see how to count by just type here count and then end line so now we can run this thing and you can see it's a seven so you can see it has the seven icons which is one two three four five six seven so that was it for today's video and um, hope you have enjoyed the video so make something new out of it and uh, if you want to continue watching my videos then make sure you click the video that's showing up right now on the screen and make sure you click that red subscribe button and bye bye